The majority of people has a positive attitude towards sustainability and support today's trend. But what is sustainability and sustainable development? In 1987, the United Nations defined sustainable development as development that meets the needs of the present without compromising the ability of future generations to meet their own needs. This goal cannot be achieved by a single action or a single person. It takes a multitude of little steps to reach the goal of a future worth living, and every little helper contributes. BASF formulation additives are already doing their part. But how can formulation additives support sustainable development in the paints and coatings industry? Let's have a look at three major steps in the paints and coatings value chain. The pigment dispersion phase is the most energy consuming part of the paint production process. The choice of the right or optimum dispersing agents supports the grinding process by shortening the dispersing time of pigments and helps to achieve the maximum color strength and stability with the lowest viscosity, thus leading to higher efficiency and contributing to reduced emissions. Foaming can be created not only during the dispersion processes, but also while pumping or stirring. The incorporation of special grind defoamers helps to shorten paint production time by avoiding incorporation of air during the grinding process and increases production capacity. Easy to blend defoamers added during the letdown phase support fast and correct filling of cans and containers and avoid the formation of foam during transport to the paint shops. Let's look now at some examples of the application of paints and coatings. The most sustainable way of painting a wooden fence is by achieving one coat coverage from an easy-to-handle drip-free paint. Rheology modifiers control the flow properties of paints. Without them, paints would be as runny as water. They would spatter in all directions during application, have little hiding power, and exhibit a much shorter shelf life due to pigment sedimentation. An optimized blend of rheology modifiers ensures the right film thickness and desired coating smoothness, allowing lower usage of paint with equal or increased lifespan. In factory finishes, specially developed wetting agents allow for high-speed processes and for reduction of paint thickness that can still be defect-free. Thinner but continuous films lead not only to lower energy consumption, but also to resource savings. End users of paints and coatings are looking for long-lasting colors and well-protected surfaces. Making paints that last a long time requires that the paint film dries without defects and other imperfections. Proper choice of film-forming agents not only helps achieve an excellent latex particle fusion, but also enhances dirt pickup resistance, allowing the house to stay in good shape longer. In maintenance and marine coatings, the ability to apply defect-free high film thickness coatings is critical for long service life and reduced emissions. Specially selected rheology modifiers, defoamers, dispersing agents, and flow control agents all play a synergistic role to help deliver coatings with the highest level of performance. Formulation additives support more sustainable paints and coatings by shortening paint production time, allowing for one coat coverage drip-free paints, enabling high-speed defect-free coating processes, increasing durability, enabling the shift from solvent-based to water-based and to high solids, performing at lower dosage, reducing odor and emissions, allowing for eco-labels, Formulation additives are little helpers that make a significant contribution to help our industry switch to more sustainable paints without losing performance. As consumers seek a lifestyle of health and safety and legislation across the world becomes tighter, additives will provide the key to achieving truly sustainable and eco-label compliant paints so that we can make our customers' formulations better and more sustainable too. This is why every little helper contributes.